Anybody who's in the process of shopping for a home right now has found themselves in the middle of a perfect storm. Las Vegas housing prices continue to go up. Inflation is making everything else in their lives more expensive, and that includes their potential monthly mortgage payment. Craziness. Loan officer Jennifer Buzzarini summing up the relative spike in mortgage rates. Interest rates have jumped more than 2% in the last couple of months. And it usually does, it does not rise that fast, that, that much that fast. And I don't think any of us really expected that to happen quite so fast at least. In January, mortgage rates were very low, three to three and a quarter percent. Now they're around five to five and a quarter percent. On a typical $400,000 loan, that 2% increase can raise a new home buyer's payment by more than $400 a month. That's pushing people out of, out of the market. We're seeing a lot more people needing co-signers, you know, parents co-signing. And it's discouraging potential home buyers. According to Markets Insider, the Fannie Mae Home Purchase Sentiment Index fell more than eight points year to year, with 73% of the respondents saying this is not a good time to buy. And many who are still in the market are lowering their expectations. We're seeing a lot more of that, or yeah, people just having to really downsize their their needs and wants list for what what can I get for this price of home, and and still make those numbers work. You still jump in. Lee Barrett, Las Vegas Realtors president elect, says yes, interest rates will drive up your monthly payments, but home values can offset much of the difference because inventories will likely remain tight, so prices will go even higher. In my experience tells me that it would take a dramatic amount of new listings to come on the market to change our current situation, or it would take interest rates to go to 9 or 10 percent for people to be that concerned. Also, more home buyers are turning to an updated version of the, uh, the old adjustable rate mortgage, uh, but a new version, though, that offers more protection against default, a far cry from the arms that we saw 20 years ago that many say helped contribute to the housing market crash. You can read more about the difference on our website. Just go to news3lv.com. From the cost of a vacation to the cost of your home, the latest numbers from our local realtors telling us what we've seen before, that local housing prices continue to skyrocket. Now people are wondering, worried, how long can it last? Our Jeff Gillen's out in a local neighborhood with that story. Good evening, Jeff. That's right. Good evening, everybody. This story really is just Economics 101. Too much demand, too little supply. Caught in the middle are folks like first-time home buyer David Brim, who's been trying with his wife to buy a home for two months. We got plenty of money, we've got great jobs, and we go and bid on these houses, which obviously are like eighty to ninety thousand over appraisal, and we're getting outbid by cash buyers by five fifty to eighty thousand dollars. That's life in a housing market where the median price of a local resale sat at four hundred sixty thousand dollars in March. That's up two percent from February and a whopping twenty seven percent from March twenty twenty one. Competition remains tight, for says realtor Vandana Bala. Even before it hits live on the market, we've got, you know, two or three offers that come in that sort of trickle in. Um, I had an agent on my team who had, I don't know, like 17 offers on a home that she recently listed. In. About 83 percent of homes are selling within a month. About 32 percent of purchases are being done with all cash. And many of those buyers are either investors or equity rich out of state folks like Californians. They see Nevada as a bargain. It's better here than it was there. <laughs> the more affordable option, condos, are also increasing. The median price there is now 270000 up almost 4% from February and up 40% from a year ago. And this won't make buyers happy. In this market, the listing price is a suggestion. Pretty much all properties now are selling above list price. 10% more is not uncommon, realtors say. Brandon Roberts is the president of Las Vegas Realtors, the trade group that tracks resales. I mean, you've got to be aggressive when you go in. Um, you probably don't want to be looking at homes at the top of your buying power. Um, you've got to have some room for negotiation and probably some room to go up. So where now? Are these increases sustainable? All the industry experts are, are indicating a slowdown in the increase, but still seeing an uh, increase in prices. That's the new normal for Las Vegas as demand outstrips supply.
In March, there were only 2,005 homes for sale without offers, not even a month's supply. A normal market has six. But miracles do happen. Mary here well, bought a home in Sun City Anthem asked, in January. Uh, I offered them what they were asking, and I had uh, a little less than 50% down, and um, they took it and everything, and there's nothing wrong with the house. One happy buyer in a market where many others want in. Gas prices, food, rent, you've noticed uh, really everything you have to spend money on is more expensive, hitting your wallet as inflation continues to spike. And today we hit another disappointing milestone. That's right, News 3's uh, Lauren Clark joins us live outside MLK Boulevard. And Lauren, first off, what are experts are saying about why this is even happening in the first place? Well, Jim and LaToya, first, let me just say you can definitely see the problem right outside Costco here. Prices are high, everything from groceries to, as we all know, the price of gas. Now, economists tell me a lot of this is due to the fact that the uh, government pushed so much money into the economy for those COVID stimulus bills. And let's just say the war in Ukraine and supply chain issues certainly aren't helping either. Just go to any local grocery store and you'll hear about it. Like these groceries I just got now, cost an arm and a leg for me. With inflation having consumers shell out way more for food than they did just a few months ago. It's crazy. Crazy, out of control. And it's ridiculous. Yeah, it sucks. And today, another grim milestone. The Consumer Price Index, which measures a wide-ranging basket of goods and services, jumped 8.5% from a year ago. We haven't seen that since 1981. It's actually much higher uh, according to 1981 metrics. And I think consumers are really seeing that. Economist David Grana says this is sparking the Federal Reserve to increase interest rates in an attempt to cool it back down. So when can we see relief? The timeline for that looks like really is anyone's guess. It's dependent on so many different issues. But in the meantime... Restaurants like Davies in downtown can't wing it with the prices they charge. Chicken skyrocket in the last couple of months. Like these chicken wings they advertise outside. You went from finding it like $80 a case to like $120 a case nowadays. Inflation has just gone up and up. Ken Heck, managing partner of Chinglish Restaurant Group, has seen it too. Labor costs are up over 40 to 50 percent in the last year. Food costs are up. You know, gosh, 40 percent on chicken, but over 100 percent on cooking oil. A difficult squeeze, he says, for a business already operating on tight margins. Although at this point, it's getting harder and harder to to avoid raising prices. Which means a dinner with friends might cost you more soon, which is why Heck has this plea for customers. Please go out and support your local family owned small businesses. Yeah, and back out here live, those small family-owned businesses certainly are hurting right now. Now, we have a lot more context, including more insight from that economist on our webpage. That's at news3lv.com. Hi, everybody. I'm Reed Cowan from News 3 Las Vegas. We want to thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. Remember, you can always see more of our videos by clicking on the video links. And also, don't forget to click that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of our YouTube updates. Thanks for watching.